Chernenzo with another review on the VRS-10 Snow Wolf. Um, I figured out how to fix the double feeding, feeding, feeding issue. I can't even talk. And it has to do with... Here, hold this. I'm going to show them right now. So, thank you for helping me. So, when I pull the bolt back, if you look in here, there is a plastic piece that's in there and it has a little round divot in that hole but you got to pull the bolt back to see it and that hole wasn't drilled all the way so it's it would let the BBs get pushed forward and it would feed all the BBs and or just two and you'd be shooting double and you lose a lot of your FPS and everything so I basically took a small drill bit drilled a little bit in it made it a little bit deeper just do it little at a time and test it so you don't fuck your gun up Needless to say, it fixed my issue. I also did the uh, inner barrel. I basically filled up that inner barrel so it didn't rattle when you shoot it. So it's more accurate. It shoots like an arrow. And my assistant here is going to hold my uh, camera here. I'm going to show you exactly how straight this thing can shoot now. Once you get it all fixed up. If you look down the barrel, you'll see... What hop up is what you'll do is you'll adjust this hop up this is a little it's a little little lever right there you just pull it forward or back and it'll adjust up your hop up up or down and you got to get that perfect hop up adjustment because otherwise you'll have bb's going either too far or too uh too far down or too far up and you want it straight so for example if you look down the side of this barrel as i shoot you'll see Turn it this way so I don't shoot the house. <laughs> See the log right here in the corner here. If you look how straight it'll be shooting completely straight. 100% accurate now. And it doesn't it's not double feeding anymore as you can see. And needless to say I could shoot a lot of objects from really far away now versus where before I would have it double feed and I couldn't shoot anything far away at all because it would double feed and it wouldn't go that far. For, for example, that random helmet right there on the floor, that is a dis good distance away. It's not too far, but no problem. It's 100% accurate. I could shoot it different stuff, close up, far away. It's It shoots like an arrow now. Overall, it is a... Uh, it's a great gun once you fix that. Now that I've figured out the issue, it took me a couple months to figure out. The other thing you'll have to do when you take this apart and you fix that issue, you will, when you put it back together, if you notice right here, there's a little groove kind of. If you put it too far forward or too far back, the issue you will have with the, uh, with the mag is it won't fit in and you, it'll be so snug it, you can't get the fucker in or out. So needless to say, if you gotta kind of adjust it a couple times till you get the right get the right fit with the barrel fitting inside the the actual stock itself, because it's got the three screws here, here, and here. And needless to say, when you take it apart, you gotta kind of play with it a little bit to get it lined up right it may have a little groove in yours it just depends on where it's made it is second market it's not really top of the line vrs tens but once you do this it works just as good but needless to say that's a pretty much the little review on it it's a great gun now that i've fixed the issues it had shoots like an arrow and needless to say i recommend it to pretty much anyone wanting to start out it's on e-bike for 99 dollars literally takes literally two seconds to fix the issues once you take it apart but uh thanks for watching tune in joe